bi-directional EV charging. It's probably the most anticipated smart home technology of 2025, and it's finally available here in the US. Point Guard just completed testing of its DC integrated bi-directional EV charger with three of the top electric vehicle manufacturing brands. I'm gonna be showing you how it works and where you can get it in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're talking about bi-directional EV charging, finally getting to a point where we can acquire it and use it here in the United States. Now, what is bi-directional EV charging? Bi-directional EV charging, very simply, it's your ability to plug your electric vehicle into your home's energy management system. And not only can you charge your electric vehicle, either using solar power uh, or just pulling through grid power and charging into the electric vehicle battery, but also under certain circumstances, being able to draw energy out of that battery, either to provide backup power to the house uh, or under certain circumstances, you may wanna export extra energy back to the power grid if you're part of a virtual power plant program uh, or if the utility is willing to pay you a premium uh, because during high demand hours, they need to tap into extra energy sources. And so the energy in your electric vehicle battery could be one of those sources. But what's all the fuss about bi-directional EV and why is this such a game changer? Well, very simply, it is gonna be one of the lowest cost per kilowatt hours of energy storage available. Now, if you look at the average home battery today provides only 10 kilowatt hours of energy storage but some electric vehicle batteries can provide 75, 100, some even over 200 kilowatt hours of energy storage. And so if you do the math on the total amount of dollars or the total cost per units of energy stored, tapping into your electric vehicle battery is one of the most economical sources of energy storage available. So what does this mean? It means that now, electric vehicle owners can realistically achieve whole home backup with their solar system without having to go and spend an extra 30, 40, or $50,000 on separate home batteries. Now you see, the average home in the United States consumes 30 kilowatt hours of energy per day. So if you were to interface a high capacity electric vehicle battery, let's say the Ford F-150 Lightning, for example, with the 100 kilowatt hour battery option, that basically means that you have enough energy stored in that electric vehicle to power your entire home for three days straight. And that's with no additional solar power coming in. That's just one full charge on your electric vehicle battery could potentially run your home for more than three consecutive days. Uh, and of course, the intent is you interface the vehicle battery with your solar system so that even if you're in a prolonged grid down event, you can run the whole home off battery, let's say for 24 or 48 hours, and then hopefully the sun comes back by that time then the solar panels can take over, powering the house and recharging the battery. And then you can repeat that cycle as many times as you need. And that's why I consider solar with batteries, including solar with electric vehicle batteries, is the most secure, most redundant emergency power supply because it's truly renewable. Once you have this system set up, you can charge and discharge and recharge day after day after day for months and weeks at a time without depending on anything from the power company or the, the fuel company to have to provide fuel for your generator. Now, those of you who've been watching the channel for a while know that we've been talking about bi-directional EV charging for about the past 18 months or so. Uh, Solar Edge has started developing one, Enphase has developed one, and now Point Guard is coming to market with one that actually works with some of the top electric vehicle brands here in the United States. But what's been taking so long? Well, the issue is getting the solar equipment manufacturers and the electric vehicle manufacturers to agree on standards and limits. Um, you know, very simply, it's, it's not as if you can plug these vehicles in and the solar inverter and the solar equipment can just do whatever it wants with the vehicle battery. Uh, the electric vehicle manufacturers have to set certain limits of how much that battery is gonna be able to be discharged for use in backing up the home or in participating in a virtual power plant versus how much of that battery capacity has to be preserved for use in driving the vehicle only. You know, it, it does have some effect on the longevity of the vehicle battery, what the terms of the warranty might be, but it looks like we're getting to a conclusion to where we have a product that is ready to come to market so you can start interfacing your electric vehicle with your home solar and storage system. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Point Guard Energy.
If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Point Guard Home. Point Guard Home gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, battery storage, bi-directional EV charging, and intelligent load control seamlessly integrated on a single platform. The system is built using a modular stackable design, allowing you to start with a small solar plus storage system and easily add more battery capacity or the DC EV charger at any time in the future. So if you'd like more information, go to the Point Guard website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Now, Point Guard just rolled out this bi-directional EV charger system and they successfully deployed it for a whole home backup in Chico, California. Now they tested the system with three of the top electric vehicle brands. Uh, they used the Rivian R1T, uh, the Ford F-150 Lightning, and the Mercedes-Benz EQB. Now, I'm excited to report that all three vehicles were able to perform whole home backup, but they even went a step further with the initial rollout. When the F-150 Lightning was running the house, not only was the electric vehicle battery able to power the whole home on backup mode, but it was allowing the Mercedes EQB to be charging at the same time. Then they reversed the test. They had the Mercedes EQB powering the entire house on whole home backup, while also charging the F-150 with an AC charger inside the house. So from all the reports we're getting, this was a successful deployment and a successful test of bi-directional EV charging for whole house backup. Now, Point Guard is finalizing a lot of the uh, last few tweaks on the software to enable all use cases like vehicle to grid. If you wanna be able to export electric vehicle power to the grid as part of a virtual power plant program, they wanna make sure that all those use cases are supported. But if this is a technology that you're interested in acquiring or following, the best way to do that is to go to the Point Guard Energy users Facebook group so that you can stay up to date with all the latest videos, photos, uh, and feedback from real owners of the system. So we'll, we'll make sure that we get a link in the description down below so that you can enroll in the Point Guard Facebook group. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner and if you're in the process of looking at different solar, battery, or electric vehicle charging options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote, or perhaps you already have quotes, you just need to get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal. Uh, as always, you can feel free to reach out to us on the link below here. Set up a call with a solar surge expert, or you can just use the free online calculator tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from videos like this that you watch on solar surge, uh, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel as well. That way, as we have new videos coming out, especially on this topic, because I know many of you you want to get your hands on bi-directional EV, you know that it's been a long time in the works and now we're finally about to get to the point where the rubber hits the road. So this is a good reason to subscribe to the channel, that way you can stay up to date with all the latest developments uh, and help us push that subscriber count over 100,000 for 2025. Well that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel and as always I'm Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.